This is Apollo, a young male kestrel, and his mate, Athena, who's brooding their five young chicks. Apollo's job is to provide food, while Athena defends the nest and cares for the restless hatchlings. She's got a work cut out looking after these chicks, but this isn't her only concern. As night falls, there's an unwanted visitor. A barn owl. Athena sees off the intruder in no time. She's a fearless mother. In the morning, Apollo arrives with a sparrow. She snatches it from him and calls furiously. She must be hungry and he heads out for more. The chicks are hungry too and Athena carefully feeds them. They'll need more than this if they're going to survive. Prior items have been scarce this year after a cold, dry spring so I'm keeping a close eye on them. Later, Athena waits expectantly for her mate. Apollo is trying his best, but the smallest chick keeps missing out at mealtimes. It's only a few days old and I'm worried it won't survive. In the morning, there's another unwelcome caller at the nest. An interfering jackdaw. Athena rushes to the entrance to see off the threat. This constant vigilance is taking its toll. She's on edge, even irritated by flies buzzing round the nest. When she leaves the chicks, it's clear the youngest still isn't doing well. It's pale and breathing heavily. If it doesn't get food soon, it will die. It's not until morning Apollo returns. But he's got nothing to feed the family. And the tiny chick looks even worse. Six hours later, this three-day-old chick has perished. Food is in such short supply Athena feeds it to the others. It's just heartbreaking. Athena should be keeping the chicks warm. But after this, she decides to take matters into her own hands and heads out to hunt. She's not the first back. Apollo arrives with a substantial meal, a young rat. The chicks can't feed themselves yet. This job just isn't part of his skill set, so he leaves the nest. There's no sign of Athena, and with the chicks calling at him, he comes back inside. tries feeding them himself, but he doesn't quite know what to do. He goes to leave, but stalls again. He doesn't want to leave the chicks unguarded, and instead waits for Athena's return. When she comes back empty-handed, she's pleased to see the rat, and soon gets to work.
Over the next few days, Apollo really steps up to the challenge, bringing in food around the clock. This includes sparrows, and even a baby blue tip. He's such a hard-working parent, but he's out of his depth when Athena's not around. Rodents, their favoured food, seem to be in short supply. And only a day later, the chicks don't look well. They're left alone for long periods while the parents search for prey. And the fourth chick is struggling from lack of food and warmth. I'm not willing to let another chick die without a fight, so I head up to Ashwood to see if I can help. I open up the box and gently remove the chick. Right, I've got this little kestrel chicken, it's super, super weak. I've got to get it warm, so I put it on a heat pad. And then I give the others some much needed food. Right, it's feeling warmer now. So we've just got to quickly get some rehydration fluids down it and see if we can save this little chick. Just a few drops at a time. But this is not a well little kestrel. Despite my best efforts, the tiny chick perishes during the night. Now only three chicks remain. But Apollo and Athena have fewer mouths to feed. And I'm able to lend a helping hand by putting some food into the nest. And in no time, the chicks are looking healthy again. Apollo and Athena have worked so hard, facing their biggest challenge yet. They've had to make tough decisions, balancing the need to keep the chicks either warm or fed. But thanks to their determination and a little help from me, these three chicks have survived and they're well on the way to becoming strong young kestrels. In the next film, the kestrel chicks grow fast. They're soon ready for their identification rings and eager to take their first flights. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.